I got... Whoa, I'm like on drugs. I'm like way blurry. Uh, <laughs> hello YouTube and welcome back to Let's Go Gaming. Uh, we are still playing Dead Island. Uh, we're actually only 8% through the main story, but it progresses really fast depending on how you get missions done. It's not really like an accurate 8%. And we're going to get the cat out of the way because <laughs> I can't see the map. I can't see the map anyway. Where the fuck's the map? I need to know where I'm going, don't I? Fucking go this way, I guess. Ah, uh, god, I gotta spend my skill points or the freaking map ain't gonna show up. Alright. There you go. Now give me back my map. Go away. Okay. Alright, well, I said last time that I would, you know, finish up this episode uh, by. Ah, uh, shit, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Ah! Get away, get away. I just wanna drink a soda! I just wanna drink some soda, bro! I just want to drink some energy drink, some Red Bull, bro. I probably said it in the first episode that Red Bull or Monster, like, missed a huge opportunity by not snagging the, uh, the rights to be the energy drink, uh, company in this game. Damn. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to, uh, turn on that stuff and get the teddy bear and do all that stuff this episode um, because I was gonna have the last one be the last one for the session and then I found out that it didn't want to save until I had completed uh, the story mission that I was on so I definitely have to get that done this episode and it only makes sense to you know do the other two missions that I was going or I was assigned uh, this episode as well but I think this thing with this teddy bear I'm going to kind of rush through if the thing will stop lagging for a second. Um, the game is really laggy for me right now. Probably because I've been playing for so long, my PlayStation might be getting a little overheated at this point. So, that I'm just running through things way too quickly. Uh, this toy one with the teddy bear, I think I'm just going to rush through it pretty quickly. Not fight... Ow! Too many guys along the way. Because uh, I'm going into pretty unexplored territory, but it's territory I know I'm going to have to go back to later. So there's not really any reason to explore all of it or get all the stuff that's there, because I'll eventually come back that way anyway. Die. Ah. God. Christ. Ah. It's like I want to finish them off, and then i got to wait for my freaking stamina to get back up. Die. Okay. Doing a little better. Alright. Oh, this guy eating another guy here. Die, zombie. This place is very well tiled for being outside. It's very clean. They must mop it like every day. You thought I was coming through the other door, didn't you? Not so much. Oh? Okay. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, I don't know where that is, buddy, but uh, maybe I'll find you eventually. Oh, I think it's uh, it's a military bunker. This is like some, you know what? This has to be in the Pacific Ocean because I remember now there's like Japanese military bunkers. So we're not in the Caribbean Ocean at all. It was all a lie. It was all ruse. It was all a sham the whole time, and I was always, I was lying to you. We ain't in the Caribbean. We're in, like, the Pacific Ocean somewhere. Actually, it wasn't a lie. I remember in the first episode, I said something about Sri Lanka. So we're probably near, uh, that kind of stuff. In that area. Oh, God. I gotta run all the way over to the gold bungalows. Get all the shit over there. Get all, uh, get the teddy bear. Then I gotta run back. Oh, buddy. This is a long detour. But, uh, if I were to just do that thing with the generator in the lighthouse, I probably would have gotten the episode done in, like, two minutes. Not two minutes, but five, at least. And I would have had, like, three-fourths of an episode missing. I didn't want to tack it on at the end of the last episode because it would have made the last episode too long. So here I am, just going a little ahead of schedule. I should have stopped by that place and fixed up my weapons. I'll be fine. 
Maybe I'll stop by the lifeguard tower on the way back then. Now it's three of you now. Die. Ooh. It makes a cool noise when I hit that. Uh, didn't make it that time. Death. Death. Ooh. Killed him by hitting him in the calf. Got him a skip leg day. Alright. So now we're getting up towards the bungalows near the hotel. And I'm pretty sure that it's like a population based thing at this point where because there's more bungalows and we're next to like the hotel which obviously would have had a lot of rooms including the rooms you know we were staying in uh there's a lot more zombies just kind of sitting around waiting to mess with your steez so i'm gonna try to just ignore all of them just run on through don't pay them any mind if i don't have to this will be some pretty big areas where they'll all just see me. Like this area. Oh god. But then I can do this. Yeah! Death becomes all of you. Can I hit that guy? Hit him, hit him, hit him. Yeah! Oh, fuck, I missed. Ow. Damn it. He didn't miss me, though. <laughs> They're just gonna hang out in the pool and take drowning damage, I guess. Okay. Cat's fucking around with the china cabinet. I don't know if you guys heard like the ding 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 ding. That's like all the china that's on like fancy little racks or shim shammering around. I think I had to come up here for something before, didn't I? That's the key to the place. Yeah, I've been up this way. There's definitely a couple times where you've got to come on up this way. Oh, hello, person. Come here for a second. Hello. Hey, listen, there's this tall hombre that owes me some money. Oh, God. Mucho dinero. But he came down with whatever this infection is and paid oh, me what he God. owes me not exactly his first priority. I'm not taking on this guy's mission. Right I'll save him for later. Especially because this there. is a very like erroneous. I don't think I'm going to get anything hey, special from him. No. Oh. Listen, man, we survivors. Oh, that fucking... Well, I... What was it? What are you going to give me? 600p cash. Okay, yeah. So this is something I'll, I'll come back either off screen or, you know, something and I'll just, like, grind it and to get the, uh, the stuff. Or maybe if I hit up a bunch more missions like this, I'll make a short episode of me just kind of uh, running through it. No, I don't want to do Omar's mission. Stop defaulting to whoever's missions I freaking accept. I've got to find the teddy bear. And then I've got to return it. And I've got a fuck, fuck, whoa! That was weird. I think two of them grabbed me at once. There, it's very strange. Okay, I'm going in here. Huh? Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Damn it! I can never get this shit in the first try. Close the door. Nobody's coming in after me. Okay, not seeing a teddy bear yet, but there's much bungalow to be explored. I'm not really seeing any energy drinks either. Maybe that's the only reason Monster or Rockstar or whatever didn't sponsor with them. Is that, uh, they don't really show up that much, I guess. You really wouldn't see the logo on the can when you're drinking it either, so I guess maybe it's not that great of a advertising idea. Hey, buddies. Oh! Whoa! What the fuck? I forgot humans can attack you. That's a thing. I didn't think that happened till the city. Fuck, dude. That guy didn't even try to talk to me. He's just like, oh, you're in my bungalow. I'm scared. Ah! Oh. Oh, god damn it. Back fucking Omar. I run back through all this shit again. I think it wasn't that far away, I guess. And I gotta open the door again. Oh, it's already open. Okay. Close that shit. Okay. Now let's not make that same mistake and not die this time. Blood. Blood Kill the dogs! <laughs> Ow, how come I'm not hitting him? Oh! Okay, I hit him. Oh, he went down really fast. Sorry, Lucy. I uh, really needed this teddy bear. Um. You saw nothing, and uh, I'm pretty sure you're not going to tell anybody because you're pretty fucked up in the head right now. So, 
Have fun uh, dying by zombies. I'm gonna leave the door open, you know, so it just goes a little quicker for you. I'll take me on a different path back. Interesting. You guys are really getting to see a lot of the resort today. <laughs> I'm just never taking the same route twice. Just uh, gonna explore everything before I need to. I'm stuck. Oh, I'm stuck on a hedge. Uh. Okay, I'm right up next to the resort building. Now, you can't actually go into it. It's like its whole own different map. Not even that it's like that big. But uh, whoa. Okay. I'm just gonna run on by. Like I said, I'll be back up this way a lot more later on a couple other missions because we eventually have to go to the hotel to like get communications open. So I'm not really gonna deal with all that right now because it'll just be kind of a waste of time for right now. So back to just needless grinding and all the shit that I'm already doing. Oh god. <laughs> run, 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 run. It's a good thing I've been upgrading stamina. Ah. I'm gonna let you jump out at me. Ow. She got me anyway. I really gotta pace this out better. That way I have a little bit of stamina if I need it. Jump over the bush. Oh, she fell down too. Whoa! Like hit her into the tree and then she cracked her skull open. Jesus. I feel like there's gotta be a quicker route from these bungalows, man. I know, I'll just jump down the mountain. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, that worked a little bit. I can't forget that when I get back to the lighthouse to uh, fix up these weapons of mine, they're not doing too great. Not at all. I am butchering them. I have like two, I have like five hits left with this crowbar until it's done. Oh god. Running through the grass, running through the trees, trying to get back to this bungalow to get this bear to this girl. No, I don't have any water for you, girl. I know the one's gonna ask me again. I gotta bust in again? Oh! First time. But this time it didn't even matter. It wasn't even important. Alright, finally back. No, shut up. I gave you enough water. Where have you been? You've been a bad boy. Say thank you to the nice people. I mean, I'm one guy, but sure. Whatever you want to say, crazy lady. Hopefully you sleep now a bit. And, uh... I mean, just everybody I meet. Everybody except Cinemoy's group and the group at the lighthouse. They're just, they're just gonna die. Nobody has any survival skills. They're just getting... They're being lucky enough to survive. And they're being so traumatized by all of this. Oh, God. Time to get the guy his, uh... Diabetes med medicine real quick. Whoa. I really hope all this like frame stuff isn't showing up on the capture for you guys too. I really hope that you're getting like smooth gameplay and it just looks like I'm like being stupid. Ah! Right in the nuts. Now's when I leave. Ah! Run away! Run, run away, away! Run into the fucking cabanas. Oh, I don't gotta be down there, do I? No, it's up here. Who the fuck is it? Is it this one this guy's pounding on? Get away from the guy with diabetes! He's enough to deal with! Dick. Callum? Joel? Josh! What's the, what's the one from uh, Heavy Rain? I can't remember. This guy with diabetes dead already. Yep, here he is. Oh, I'm so worried about you. Wait, you're not my brother. He must have sent you, right? Thank you. Thank you. I'll just wait until this kicks in. Wait until. Uh, Luke ain't coming. Why don't I tell him that? Why am I just like, yeah, I'll let him figure out that you know his brother is uh, not coming. He's dead. He's dying. He gave it to me because he's dead. He's, he's, he's bleeding on the floor of another cabana. Or better yet, why don't when you're feeling better, you go see if you can help him. Or why didn't I help him? I guess there was no help again, or else he would have asked for it. I don't know. I, I'm not. I'm not these. I, I don't, I don't want to figure out these people's lives for them. They can figure that out for themselves. Whatever. I got his thing. That was the end of his mission. I got the fucking nuts and bolts mod and whatnot. 
So I can just return to what I was doing. Ray of hope! I can help that guy out with the, uh, the thing. Which is this way. Woo! Oh, fudge. I gotta kill a lot of zombies real quick. Because a lot of these guys are gonna interfere with what I'm about to do if they're too close. And they're definitely too close. Back off! No, you can't have my autograph! Oh, fuck. That guy really wanted it. He's gonna give me a hug, too. Fuck. All y'all bitches! Better back up! Taking them out one by one. Sorry, I was like, didn't want to die again because I was pretty sure it wouldn't take me just back to the diabetes guys. It would have taken me back like way further, like back to when I was with the crazy chicks. That's just too far away. All right, just kill this guy over here, and that should be enough in this surrounding area. I'm just gonna send a bunch of other zombies after me once I start the uh, the thing. I'm gonna try to start, but uh, I want a baseball bat. I'll trade this flimsy stick for this other flimsy stick. I think it was a flimsy stick for a weak stick. So you know what? That's a good trade. Now are there any candy bars or, uh, you know, sodas around that I could drink real quick before I gotta do this thing? They're always conveniently not around the areas that I need them to be. And maybe that's, like, good planning on, like, the game designer's part. Like, they intentionally want to make it hard by not putting health where you need it. But at the same time, like, isn't that what, like, decently general game design is like? You know, you put a few health around, so it's like, okay, he's got to, like, ration it out before he uses all of it up. Not like, we're going to give him nothing. Oh, gosh. All right, here I go. Oh, that was close. Oh, that was early. Fuck. Turn off the alarms. Well, I wonder if that drew any zombies to me. Probably. Alright, I turned on all the generators. Let me see what this is. This puppy up. Flimsy hammer. I'll take it and I'll replace my... Well, I should have room for it. I'll... Re... Let me check my weapons. Uh, inventory. Wow, I have a lot of shit. Uh, let me get that in there. Let me. Ooh. Oh, I can use that now. Okay. This might not be that bad of a battle. Let me. Let me, let me switch in some stuff that'll actually get me somewhere. Drop anything that's not doing me any good now. Battered wooden plank. <laughs> I'll just throw everything everywhere then. Fact! Another fact. Eventually I'll read all these facts and learn what they're trying to say. What the fuck is this? Oh, it's a completely broken, nailed stick. Jeez. I'll use the crowbar to start off, I guess. As I exit here and fight my way through a melody of zombies that came to the alarming sounds of my screaming sirens. Yep, there they come. Where are ya? Running out of the bushes. They're really, they're like pushing me back that far. That's not me just going that far. Uh, uh. Yeah! Oh wow, I killed her with a kick. But that's just one wave. Let's see what other zombies heard my deafening screaming sirens. As I walk just a little bit farther out. Actually, I think it's all the way back to where I came from. They're just going to start coming after me. Alright, I'm just going to make a book for it. Or, I'm going to make a book for it. I'm going to book it! Ah! <laughs> Actually, that wasn't that hard. What do I have the game difficulty on? Normal? Wow, 
Well, it was really me or them in that scenario, wasn't it? And it was them. Don't any of you forget. <laughs> I kicked ass and took names, apparently. Even though I was just kind of randomly hitting some buttons. Alright, what do you gotta say, bud? Everything works. I hit my microphone. Go tell Darwin the good news. I'll stay yeah. here just in case the fuses blow when you start pulling power for the Okay. Lighters. Are you just saying that fence or like you. you have a bungalow there? Thanks for the help. Okay, what do you got for me? Ooh, cash. Which is virtually the useless now. I mean it's not really that useless. Like I can still use it to buy stuff. Because apparently, even in a zombie apocalypse, we don't all work together and just give each other weapons. There's still gotta be that asshole like Sawyer on Lost who like fucking hoards shit and then sells it and still turns profit. But it's like, why do they even do that? Like, what are you gonna use the money for? Although I think Sawyer on Lost did it a bit more for like uh, favors and like special privileges. Uh, whereas like in this game, it's definitely like, why do you want money, man? Like, you think you're gonna make it out of this and be rich when you get off this island? Which, I mean, in the first place, if you're on this island, aren't you pretty rich to begin with? Like, you gotta be pretty in Swazi living, you know? To be staying on a fancy-ass island like this, you just need more money. Which explains why there's, like, people with, like, hundreds of dollars on their persons when they die and become zombies. I don't know where I'm going with all this. I guess just money would always become useless in the zombie apocalypse you know go for a trade and barter system more than a uh, monetary system unless you're also you're upholding the sanctity of the monetary system by then expecting other people to accept money when you accept money from others which in a way I guess is keeping society together in a zombie apocalypse but you know I think you have bigger concerns than just money for how to keep society alive. And, uh, I mean, hey, if anything, the zombie apocalypse, or any apocalypse, uh, would be a good time to get rid of the regular money system that we have. I am way more in favor of the idea of, like, a bartering system in life. And I know that, like, in the society we have now, it's impossible, because there's, like, goods and services, like, you couldn't, like, trade, like, two bushels of grapes for, like, a back massage. I mean, you could, but, like, It'd be a lot harder to do things like mortgages and, like, cars. Like, it'd be a fuck a lot of grapes, like, to trade in for a car, you know? So the money system, like, does, uh, help out there a bit. But, I mean, in, like, a small society, like, that would, would exist after a zombie apocalypse. You know, starting off with a bartering system for the first couple generations might be a steady way to ease back into a money system and, you know, make the new money system maybe a bit more respected, like it first was when it was invented, you know, when we were on the gold standard, before everything was just, you know, backed by the government, and you had stuff like the housing market crash and all that crap. This is a really fiscally deep conversation to be having while I'm bashing in the head of a, of a, uh, Samoan woman on the, uh, in the street. Can I go in this bunker? No, I cannot. Okay, there's someone after me. Ow! Yeah, she did. She got pretty good shots in. Whew. Back to the simple things in life. Like running up steep inclines and killing people with a crowbar. These crowbars keep their shape pretty well for being so damaged. Like the other things usually get bent out of shape or broken, but the crowbars always stay in that U shape. Or J shape, I guess. They just kind of get uh, bloody and, like, rusty looking. Okay, I'm almost back up to the lighthouse. Woo-wee. Let me in. I've got things and people and stuff and shit to do. I've got so many things that I've retrieved for people, and I want to give to them before I try to end an episode. If you could bring me back some food, I'd really appreciate it. Anything. Oh, what the fuck? Why didn't you ask me about this before? I would have looked for food while I was out. Although I probably have food on me. I'll just give him my food for some cash. Because you know, why do I need to eat? All I do is drink energy bars all day. It's the same thing with the girl in the water. And then he's gonna start asking for more. Oh, well, man, what'd you do with the fucking food I just gave you? Fucking Ned. 
No, I'm not gonna find the plane until like the end of the game. The plane she's talking about is like in like three overworlds Space from now in the game. Like when we're at like eighty percent in the game is when we'll finally come across that goddamn plane. So she is she is way ahead of schedule asking me to look for that plane. Like you expected me to go all the way across the island in the last like forty minutes, girl? What the hell? Okay. Marcus said it's gonna work. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, Marcus also said he's not coming back. Uh, I wouldn't expect him to, you know, stay there, but, you know, whatever. Hey, Lighthouse. What was that for again? To signal the people in the town? Or something? I I don't know. I think it was also communications. I don't know. It's a lighthouse. There's a cutscene. Woo! We did it. Victory is ours. Can I use your room now? Yeah, you will. And you're going to give me that... Freaking thing too, or whatever you're carrying. I'm gonna drink your soda too. <laughs> She's like in the middle of drinking like a Mr. Pib, and I pick it up and I'm like, ah, yeah, the wrench ain't enough. I'm gonna drink your soda too. I'm famished. I'm just gonna eat everything that you got here and drink it. And you know, it took a lot of work to get there, so I'm just, I'm just gonna take all your shit. But their storeroom's pretty good. It's got a bunch of stuff. That's the quest item that I needed. There's some duct tape, and there's some stuff in this thing here. Maybe and yep. I'm gonna go talk to the guy up top because I'm pretty sure I finished his mission too. Yeah, I finished most of the missions. Cinemoy's boys aren't doing a damn thing to prepare. Not like we are. Here, take this. Just, Just the token. token. I mean, we could all work together, guys. I don't understand why we're not. All right, what do you gotta say? I won't, I won't forget, forget it. it. Okay. And you're gonna give me cash. Oh, you also got another mission. We need to cover, cover all, all our bases. bases. A few of us started arranging a huge help sign out in the clearing nearby. Oh, and we were just that help sign I was talking about like two episodes ago. Now, Finally. Everyone's too scared to go back See, I don't there. think it even would have let me rearrange it, even us. if I had tried. It worth your while. Like I could have picked up the boxes, but it wouldn't have had the spots where I actually. Oh, no, for crap. No, I oh, can't. Damn it! I'm pr I, I, I was trying to press the skip button. Sure. And I got the torch mod for doing this, which will be pretty cool once I eventually get around to making more mods. But uh, for now, things and things and stuff and things. So, let's go back downstairs. And I think there was another person downstairs whose mission we had done. No? Is that it for today? Alright, well let me run outside and then I'll end it out here. With a nice another beautiful view! And I'll probably start the next episode by doing that help sign thing and returning to Cinemoy with the radio. Oh, but look at this view. It's pretty. I wonder if guests are allowed to come up to the lighthouse. Well, that's all the time that we have for today's episode. Uh, this series might not seem like it's moving that fast, but I assure you that we're about halfway through the overworld that we're in now. Once I return to Cinemoy, he's going to have the idea to bring the radio to the hotel. And then once we get communications in the hotel, which is its own little like level, that's when we can move finally onto the town. And then after the town is the jungle and after the jungle is something and then that's it and we're at the end of the um game and uh <laughs> i sounded like i'm trying to sign off for the whole game like yeah that's it that's the whole game uh, uh i'm just gonna describe it and i'm never gonna play it again uh but that's all the time that we have for today's episode hopefully you like the series and if so i'll continue playing it but uh that's all for now have a great day and stay adventurous adventurers that's awful how about this one stay adventurer er Stay adventurous, YouTube. Yeah, that one's good.